a tool which is uh, quite widely known in the translator community is uh, SDL multi-term, uh, the terminology management application produced by SDL, uh, who also produced a very widely used uh, uh, CAT tool called uh, SDL Trados Studio. Multi-term can be used as a standalone application or uh, it can be used in combination with uh, the translation suite uh, studio. Uh, I'm going to quickly show you uh, how to use it. So uh, it has um, quite a flexible and relatively simple interface for creating term bases. Uh, so first I will um, I will have to save the, the file and then we have the wizard which guides me through the process. Um, uh, I give uh, the term base a friendly name, for example, climbing equipment. Uh, and then I specify the languages. So in this term base again I shall use only two languages, English and Slovene. Uh, and then in the fourth step of the wizard, you can define all the other data categories that you would like to use. So for example, the definition, uh, I'm also going to use example. And I would also like to add images to this term base. And if I would like to use anything other than a text, I have to specify this in the properties uh, section. So here I will specify a multimedia file so that I can upload an image into this term base. And in the last step, we have to specify the structure. Uh, so we'll put image on the entry level, the uh, definition on the language level, uh, and the example on the term level. And uh, this is about it. So my term base is created and I can start adding terms. Uh, I'll start with the English term uh, belay device uh, and then add the Slovene term uh, and now for the definition I have to remember my levels uh, or my structure so the definition is on the language level which is why I can find it under language here so this is the place where I can enter the definition piece of climbing equipment all right um, and then I said I would like to also use images uh, for the image uh, you can uh, upload it here. Uh, where is my image now? Just a second, right here. Um, and uh, the image will only be shown once I save this entry. So first I have to save it, save changes. Wow, and then we have a huge image here. I should have um, selected perhaps a different image but anyway uh, this is uh, basically the information that I entered and uh, the contents of the term base can be browsed under uh, here under under browse um, multi-term also includes uh, a special add-on for term extraction uh, and um, it uh, can also, if it is used in combination with Trado Studio, uh, the handy thing is that terms can be automatically uh, recognized during translation and equivalents are automatically suggested to the translator.